What is up and welcome back. Wow, is there a lot brewing once again. Mm. This is deep. This is interesting. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I am just covering what is going on. This is just for entertainment and for informational purposes. This is all alleged. And please do not come at anyone we talk about in this video. This is going to get interesting. So, if you guys recall, I want to say, was it, I'm not 100% sure on this time frame, but wasn't it, if I'm not mistaken, wasn't it around kind of like around fall last year? Around maybe going into winter? I'm not quite for sure. Don't get me wrong. I didn't want to. I, I've definitely uh, researched, but I didn't want to go back that far, and the video has been taken down. So, if you guys do recall, Amber Lynn Reed found out when Becky's mom was sick. Becky is her girlfriend, and I know most of you watch me know all of this, but there are some people from the AGP, um, another community, and then just people that know me. Kind of, this is all new to them. They're kind of like, whoa, Kai, this is interesting. This is like a little baby soap opera, and yes, it is. It is like a internet reality show going bad. So, Amberlynn put up a video talking about, um, I'm going to give the ad revenue to Becky's mother. Um, you know, please help us out. We're trying to raise money for her. We're going to start a GoFundMe. Therefore, turned into GoFundMe Gate. GoFundMe Gate was very quickly started unraveling as it progressed. Everybody at first said, why if you, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> why if you're not fans of us being, you know, the haters, were disrespectful, despectful, etc. Why are you asking us for money? You claim you've got a big old bankroll. You're always talking about how much money you got in the bank. Why are I, you asking us? You shell out some cash. So, people started digging deeper into this, deeper into it. Um, and it just really started to unravel. There was alleged facts um, coming out that... Miss Norma, in no disrespect, am I trying to... Miss Norma is now passed. That is not why I'm making this. I am talking based on Amber. We are not here to... Please do not leave any mean comments about Becky's mother, Norma, or anything like that about the family. You know, yes, it's definitely other parts of the family are controversial, but let's just keep a big, you know, eye on what's shaken here. So... It started unraveling. People were finding out that, you know, maybe she had insurance. People were asking questions. I heard that at one point, the payee of the GoFundMe was somebody different, etc., etc. Basically, it all just started unraveling. If you're new to me or new to this situation, there's plenty of videos on it. There's tons of content out there on it. You know, all my fellow uh, creators uh, hit this hard, probably. So, dig around. It's out there. Look up Amber and GoFundMe, and you'll find it. You know, so we're not going to keep getting into this. So, long story short, the video was taken down. The GoFundMe, everything just went to, you know what, in a handbasket. And um, I got a bad taste in my mouth from it. Um, you are stunting, flossing, fronting you know, that you, you know, one time opened her wallet, oh, I got two grand in here, etc. Look at what I got. Would you look at it? I don't know why that Ed Bassmaster thing has been, if you don't know who Ed Bassmaster is, check out, look at it, and it's just, will get stuck in your head. But anyways, would you look at it? So, it just rubbed me the wrong way. It's like, I'm sitting on this big bankroll, but let me get a little bit at your pockets. Um, people don't make what she makes. Some people don't make that in a year or two. Add, you know, subtract. You know, Amber's mentioned plenty of times on here that she's not hurting for cash. So, it totally rubbed me the wrong way, you know, that, you know, we're the haters, etc. We're trolls, but let me get in your pockets. 
So, okay, all this is just goes on, goes on, and then Amber, um, I know most of you know I'm just kind of recapping the short part because we go on forever, but anyways, she just basically, once things started heating up, it was throw away the key, we ain't talking about this, it just... <laughs> She didn't want no parts in it. People would leave in the comments. People would ask in live streams, Twitter, etc. What is up with it? What's going on? She would not touch it, honey, with a 10-foot pole. So, months and months and months passed. All of a sudden today, I'm like, couldn't sleep this morning. I'm like, what's shaking out here? If you want to know what I'm drinking, check out the Foodie Beauty, um, Fab Fit Fun, there's a little situation going on with it, too, but check that out, we are gonna do a little quick taste test at the end of this, I promised in the Foodie video, but it got so long, hopefully this won't be long, so, just saying, just put out a little, a video, a couple, um, hours ago and it is Amberlynn leaked fo private excuse me Amberlynn leaked private voice notes with Becky's mom Norma and deleted GoFundMe video just saying always coming through honey her memory card and her computer is working overtime because your girl can't keep two or three videos on here with that all heck breaking loose memory card full It'll die when I'm making something. I'll be filming a whole little thing, unboxing, and then it's half gone. So, shout out to Just Saying. So, we are literally going to play a snippet of this because Just Saying is amazing. Great. This sweater is so fuzzy. Great people, and I want you to go check out the whole vid, and it really puts everything in perspective. And then Karina, our Captain Kaboom. Karina Kaboom also... Really, and, and Karina Kaboom usually kind of stays neutral with Amber. She tries to kind of give her the benefit of the doubt, but you done made the captain mad today. So, I should have had my captain hat out for this. Because Captain Kaboom, honey, you done made the captain mad today. And usually Karina stays pretty level and pretty neutral. She doesn't really try and go too hard. And, you know, the captain was on this today, and I liked it. I, I like when people are real. I like when they're honest and they speak how they're truly feeling and don't sugarcoat that. That's not how I get down. So, the captain, Karina Kaboom, made a video and Just Saying. Check out Just Saying's. It really goes into detail. Karina's goes into detail and plays it, but Just Saying really breaks it down piece by piece, bit by bit, if you're new to the situation. But check out both. They really are it's, it's, I'm like, I am loving everybody's input on this because this just went hush, like I said, after a while. Let's listen to a clip of Just Saying's video and then go over there and check. Like I said, it is Just Saying, literally. Um, let me make sure I, you know, I don't want to. J U S T capital S A. Y I N, um, congratulations to to just saying for hit 14k, amazing, and you're at 14k and some change. I really would love to see this channel hit 15k for Christmas. Uh, like I said, honey, her computer and her she works overtime, so leave just saying a comment, shoot her a thumbs up because she really does put in the legwork and for people like me to even get my facts together. So props out to just saying and honey your computer i don't know what you got but that thing has got the memory of a freaking albert einstein so let's listen to a little peek see of this and like i said no disrespect to just saying but we're gonna listen to this for a second because there's no saying this is an amber's voice it's not her the lady is Order. You can tell she's not about the life. She says just like me. She's not computer savvy. She wanted to get this out there. Um, you know, basically this woman was Norma's friend and wanted to get this out there. And um, I, I shout out to this lady because I really am glad this came out there. I, I really am. You know, I, I truly am. Um, and no, just, I, I don't hate Amberlynn before you say, <laughs> no, 
I don't hate Anne Berlin. I dislike the things she does. And it doesn't have to do with anything with her weight. If you come across me, I've said this a majority of the times, millions of times probably, it is not about these women and their weight. It is about the things they do, the things in their character, the shenanigans that keep going and going and going. We're not even going to get into the Jenny Craig bit right now, honey, because I think that is just little treats and appetizers. We done said, I done said about the garlic bread. You ain't making 10 pieces. Don't nobody want no cold garlic bread that's been in the fridge. You would put it back in the freezer, heat the garlic bread up to go, you know, to eat with your lunch. You ain't got 10 extra pieces. Don't nobody want no cold garlic bread. No, I don't want no cold, stale uh, garlic bread from yesterday. Sorry, I am riled up because this is... <laughs> Let's just hear a clip. Like I said, go to Just Saying and Karina Kaboom to check out the full get up because you can't tell me this ain't her voice. This lady is older. You can tell she already says, I don't know how to work this stuff. I'm not into the drama or excuse me. I'm not into the computer stuff. Um, you know, it's not my thing. Um, you know, we're just going to listen. There's well here. I'm do you guys bad. Give you a quick snippet. That's the last thing I want to do since you just got out of surgery. I don't want to cause any more stress onto you, onto Becky, onto anyone in your family, onto myself, because that's just not going to fix anything. I am just tired of the added drama onto my YouTube and. I'm tired of not being appreciated when I try to help you the best that I can. And it's just frustrating. This whole situation is super... Honey, this lady just had surgery. And rest in peace, Miss Norma, your soul. Like I said, we are not here to bash anybody, anybody's parents. I have utmost respect for, you know, Becky's mother, 100%, may, you know, she rest in peace. It's, it's a shame that all this is going on, but I do think that it needed to come to the light. I do. I don't want to cause any more stress on you, on to Becky, on to me. You've brought, uh, what'd she say, um, a lot of, she says something about down the lines of, um, Stuff has been brought to my channel. Our captain even said this. No spoiler alert. Uh, Corrine even said this. And I'm going to say it again because I feel the same way. All the drama. Sorry, I, I hate when people do that. But I am so, this has me so just. All the drama that you bring on the channel comes from you. All the shenanigans, all the... I, I wish I had some kind of food bag. Let's see. Oh, I didn't get this at Panera. I didn't order it. I'm not happy. Let me look at my receipt. I don't believe you're doing Jenny Craig. I think the garlic bread was for both you. If you're going to eat the garlic bread, say you're going to eat the garlic bread. If you don't want to lose weight, don't. If you say, you know, hey, I'm done, I'm going to do me, whatever, that's better than lying. That is better than lying. Do you if that's what you want to do. If you want to eat garlic bread and spaghetti, go for it. Because at the end of the day, you think that you're trolling us, you're only trolling yourself. Yeah, your pockets might be fatter than some of ours. But, I said her pockets, you might have more money in the bank than some of us. But, at the end of the day, I can take my dogs outside to take a little walkie-poo. I can jump in the car, take them to PetSmart, get their nails clipped... It, it, it's it's ridiculous to me how somebody, just like a couple videos back, like, ooh, 
would she say something about haters run with that and like did a little jig and it's like do you really think that people care do you really think and i'm not saying like you know we don't want anything to, but i'm saying at the end of the day do you think when these when this turns off and my phone turns off. Do you think I'm sitting here thinking like, ooh, she got one over on us? Or Don't nobody care at the end of the day. I have given to the point that I don't think she wants to change. Maybe a smidgen comes through her mind at times. But honey, when that freaking paneer rolls through or the P.F. Chang's or whatever it is. That goes out the window. You've got to have willpower. I've mentioned this before. You know, I'm not a food addict. I'm a recovering, you know, addict. But there are little tidbits of things that kind of go hand in hand. Willpower. Willpower. You've got to have that. We've mentioned, I don't believe there's been a therapist called. I just think we're cycling and cycling. And the cycle is so old at this point. And yes, this is somebody's life. But this is somebody's life that they put out there and continue to play games, continue to troll. When you have a thumb now, say this is a freaking... One day I called her out for this too. She had a carrot in this hand and a sandwich in this hand. At no point in the video, she said, I don't pick my thumbnails. YouTube picks them. At no point in the video did she have a carrot and the sandwich eating at the same time. You made that thumbnail. You knew the response you were going to get. And the jig is been up. The jig is been up. People see through this. There's more accounts. The Joe Lowry has turned into Joe Carmen or Joe something. It just... Uh, well, uh, her mother was... How do you know that? How if you ain't Amber, somebody Becky or somebody that knows her, how do you know what her mother was? How do you know? Sometimes this person almost talks and like... Saying like things like... With, I know Amber makes money or something. How do you know? Like, it was going into, like, I forget what the comment was I seen a while back. And it was, like, something that only somebody in her circle would know. Like, the jig has been up years ago. It's just, it, it's it's slowly all coming back. And I hate to say that. And then I, I, I'm going to probably get backlash for this, but I don't know how I feel about the cancer. My uncle got cancer, and I've mentioned this 50 times. I know everybody's body's different, but the pieces to the puzzle don't add up. She said, cancer scare. The whole thing with my uncle was the lump notes and all that. The pieces to the puzzle did, and I know everybody's situation before you say, Kaya, yes. He's a man. He's elderly. Yes, he's not overweight. I know there's different tip for tap, but the pieces to the puzzle don't add up. He's still getting help. And you can say, well, yeah, his is maybe more than hers. Of course, but dude, two and a half, three months, I think when she said cancer scare, I do think maybe they said precancerous and then she made the video and backed herself into a corner and I'm just saying... This is alleged. These are not facts. This is just some of my opinions. I don't know. Will we ever know? I don't know. But this is how I feel. I think that they said maybe precancerous. She made the video. And then when she said cancer scare, why would you say cancer scare? You're not going to say cancer scare. My uncle is still going through this. Yes, he's older than her. No, he's not obese. But it's just like little things that I've noticed. It's just, it, it doesn't add up. And, and I'm not in no way saying, you know, I, I'm not, don't get me wrong here. I'm not, this is just my opinion. And don't wish, I don't wish bad upon anybody, but just some of the pieces. And, and I made a video when this first came out. It was not to be disrespectful. It wasn't to be like, I don't, it's just, there's little tidbits of things here and there that just don't add up. 
we don't hear, you know, oh, she'll say, well, my cancer's not back. But, you know, we, we there, there's no checkups. There's no, you know, I had a video call with, to make sure I'm all right. Um, I think that she kind of maybe jumped the gun. And I said, I don't know, to be honest with you. These are just my opinions. These are not facts. I think that maybe they thought... It could be, and then she needed the hysterectomy. She had already put the video up there, and that's when the cancer scare came out. But anyways, let's rein it back in here. There's no denying. Let me play one more clip. Like I said, I don't want to disrespect just saying, and I want you to go check out because there's no... Th this is her. I mean, here, it's it was not... It frustrating, and I finally just kind of wanted to speak upon the situation so she wanted to speak on a situation that became about her when norma had just got out of surgery a lot of your comments first off why would you even make this video this woman was trying to hold on to her life just got out of surgery and you're talking about what well, I don't want to I don't want to stress you out me or Becky dude me and you we would have been splitsville Becky shouldn't even I would have been irate if you would have sent my mother that message if she was in the condition that she was in that is ridiculous why would you make that Life is not all about money. Yes, I like nice things. You guys know that. But for my health, happiness, friendship, I don't care about any of this. Why would you make that? And it boils back down to, like the lady just said, because it's got to be about you. You got to wiggle in. It, it's got to flip back around and about you. If you're not the spotlight, you're not the star of the show. The video sh or the, the phone call should have never been made. The record, whatever it is, you know, I'm not good at the stuff. Voice notes, I guess, what is that? Like a voice text? I don't know stuff like that. You guys know I'm the last, I'm a low tech girl in a high tech world, I've mentioned before, but it should have never been made. Why? And then, here's the go-getter. This is what tops it all out. And check out just saying in Karina's video, she says about the money, I was. I was. I'm feeling just, okay, can we... was I was was going to give you why would you say was if if you gave man you guys we got some like I have been the research a little longer out here we got some new stuff coming up too but anyways why would you say was why would you say was so did you not give her the money did you not were you dangling it over her freaking head? I'm sorry. That should have never been made. If you thought that, honey, that's something that you should have kept inside. And what does Becky like? Really? Is all these trinkets worth it? Is, is, is it really worth it at the end of the day? Is all the trinkets worth it? Go check out Just Sayings and Karina's video once you hear the whole facts and, like I said, the whole voice call. You're going to know why I'm heated because... Well, on that note, let's take a little snippety snip of our snack of the day and let me rein it in a little bit because, you guys... I don't even know this girl in this situation type deal makes me mad. 
Okay, so tonight's snack of the day, my grandmother wanted some scallops from Red Lobster. Yes, I know it's overpriced, but she just wanted it. And I've mentioned Grandma is elderly when she wants something, honey. Ain't no telling her no. I think Red Lobster's overpriced. Um, I used to be a sous chef. I know what this stuff costs. It's overpriced, but hey... You only love once if grandma wants some daggone red lobster scallops. So be it. So be it. Okay, this is the vanilla bean cheesecake. A vanilla cookie crust with vanilla bean whipped cream and basically like a vanilla layer of cheesecake. Um, It did say different, but this is like the little... um. To go, you know, it, it's just the to-go menu where it doesn't break everything, like, completely down. It just really gives it a little thing, Anna. So, comes in this little box here. I was going to put it on a plate for you guys, and uh, I was like, you know what? It's already in this box. Why do I do reuse these for, like, if I send my grandma home dinner or if she's out and about and she picks up dinner or she takes my uncle something. So, stuff like this... Um, it is like the thicker plastic. I do try to reuse things like this. You know, if it's not all greasy and crusty. But it is like the plastic. It's not the hard. You know what I mean though. But it's not the styrofoam one. So I do try to use things like this that, you know. I just mentioned that my uncle has cancer. Something that grandma can take out. He don't have to worry about dishes. I've, you know. It was going to go in the trash. I try to recycle things like this and use it. So. You get a little bit of, wow, when I mean little, I mean little. <laughs> Let me stand up. You guys, I mean, look at that, honey. When I, Wow, like that's how you feel? Like, look at that. Literally. <laughs> um, Yeah, you get, I would say, maybe a... I don't even... I'd say a teaspoonful. That's pretty pathetic. I do think they should give you more. Um, No dabble whipped cream on it. It's got the whipped cream on the cheesecake. Um, birthday is around the bin. I would like to do some um, birthday. Oh, my God, you guys. That Cheesecake Factory Celebration Cheesecake. Whew. I still dream about that thing. I ain't going to lie. So, here's what it looks like here. Um, I'm trying really hard not to, and it, hold on, it's glaring out hard. I just don't want to show, there you go. So, you got your cookie crust, um, got some chocolate shavings on top. I have not had this, um, again, yeah, I have not had this. Um, let's do, I'm going to do without the, um, cookie crust isn't too thick. It looks like some might have stuck. Um, it's like you get three layers here, like I said. And, uh, let's do it. I know I got a little bit of raspberry on my fork, but, uh, let's try and do it without I'm trying to get a little everything. It's soft. I let it sit out so it'd be good and, um, soft. I noticed when I did the Cheesecake Factory that they were better when they hit room temp versus, um, you know, in the fridge. So, you definitely get the little chunks of white chocolate. I'm trying to see what these, like, I, layers are. So the 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 top layers like try sorry guys this is like your vanilla bean whipped cream this is like a lighter like moussey type like whipped creamy layer and then this is like your consistency of your more like um typical cheesecake it is very soft um like I said and let's try our dabble literally of raspberry sauce. Like, I just used half of that on the daggone bite. Oh, hey. 
very light. Um, it's not heavy at all. Not in any shape, way, or form. I really, really like the cookie crust. It is kind of different. It's not your typical graham cracker. It's more of a, like, cookie. More of, like, not a graham cracker, like a cookie. Um, very light. Um, I could probably eat this in one setting because it's not, like... You know when you get, your, like, your dense cheesecakes that are really, like, boom, like, your dense... This is your really, like, light, moussey type. I really do like this. I do recommend this. Again, not sponsored. I just like to show you guys little cool things that I find. Um, you know. So, again, this is the Red Lobster Vanilla Bean Cheesecake with a cookie crust and a vanilla bean whipped cream. I highly recommend this. So, I don't want to make this any longer. Let me know, honestly, what do you feel about this situation? Sorry, I keep saying that. It, it just, it, it really has become a situation. This is one time where situation, honey, it goes into play with what we're talking about. We had another situation that we're about to get into in a minute. Let me check on my dogs. They've been really chill tonight. They're sleeping, so let's get it while the getting's hot. Um, there is other stuff going on, man, honey. It is going down out here, and... Uh, our little mukbang mamas have uh, been at it the last couple days. So, let's get at it. Leave me a thumbs up. Please, seriously. And I, I really want to know what you guys think, honestly. What do y'all think of this unraveling? I did not see this coming at all. And I do kind of glad that it brought to the light. It's a shame that Becky, but she should have never let her put the phone call out there. If she went behind her back and did it, I would be heated. But Becky definitely doesn't look heated anytime we see her. So I love you guys. Shoot me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Make sure you're subscribed. If you're new, welcome. My name is Kaya. We do a little bit of everything around here. Hence the word Kaya Simon's life. Food, unboxing, holes, coals. Shoals. No, I'm joking. But we really do a little bit of everything. Makeup, unboxings, dog stuff. Baby puppies are doing good. We're going to shoot over. I do mask up, etc. I do take precautions. But we got to get the puppy video. Um, and, and I really don't want to bombard them and, you know, let them, you know... Let them welcome themselves into the world before, you know... But I, I'm not going to pick them up... Um. I don't know. We'll see how things go, but we are really taking precautions, hand sanitizing, mask, and I'm really trying to go over there like once a week. I'd love to go over there every day, but with the circumstances that's going on, I can't do that right now. So I'm definitely staying safe, and I haven't even picked up the puppies yet. I, I don't want to, you know, and, and nobody else has picked them up other than, you know, the handler and the um, person that has them. So... I'm rambling. Let's get on to our next situation. And honey, this is another crazy one. I love you guys. I will see you in a minute. And Kaya is out. We'll be back.